Imagine a world where science prevents disease before it happens instead of waiting to cure disease after it happens. A world where children can be treated and cured of asthma before they even show any evidence of the condition. A world where your doctor can determine a predisposition for Alzheimer's and help keep the devastating disorder at bay. It's a world that may be closer to reality with the pioneering research that will be done through the Duchess Wah Family Institute at the University of Chicago and U Chicago Medicine. This is a gift of vision, it's a gift of commitment, and it is a gift of a family. Craig Duchessois, his wife Janet, and the Duchessois Family Foundation made a generous gift of $100 million to start the Institute. It is the largest single gift in U Chicago Medicine's history. We are very delighted that the family has uh, supported this notion that the key to advancing human health is through scientific discovery. The Institute will accelerate research being done on the interaction between the microbiome, genetics, and the immune system. So the Duchess Wah family gift is a transformative effort. It's creating a, an edifice of research, a, an opportunity to build the infrastructure, the personnel, the intellectual capacity to really make a huge impact in how we as a group, as a university, as a research organization, change that paradigm of medicine. The Duchess Wah family has long been committed to philanthropy. They made a transformational gift to create the Duchessois Center for Advanced Medicine in memory of matriarch Beverly Duchessois after she lost her battle with cancer. The creation of the new Duchessois Family Institute had its genesis in a donation from the estate of Bruce Duchessois, Beverly's son, to the Duchessois Family Foundation. The purpose was to do something big that would help generations to come. Our family went through a lot of discussion on what does transformational mean. And, and what does, you know, if we want to really make a strategic gift, what, what does that look like? And if you're able to, to, to help one individual, that's transformational to that individual, or if you really can change a, a whole group. And I think with, with my uncle uh, Bruce, with his gift to the foundation, we really wanted to do the latter. We thought that uh, we now have the ability to, to really possibly have an impact on society. The unique collaboration with an eminent research university and its medical center makes this innovation possible, and it all starts in the laboratory. I was absolutely blown away by the fact that instead of curing disease, their approach to wellness clearly was a sophisticated, scientific approach to preventing diseases. Science, creativity, and innovation will be hallmarks of the new institute. This new science of wellness seeks to help people preserve their health while working to modify traditional treatments and make them better. The microbiome is manipulable. It's eminently manipulable compared to anything we've worked with before. You can transfer the microbiome from one individual to another and miraculously the, the, the recipient takes on the, the qualities of the host um, in ways we never would have imagined. Now things that we thought were uh, very difficult to accomplish. They're, they're very possible. Uh, we, we, we can dream, and I think that that's the important thing. Uh, so yeah, this is a great time to be. Healthcare changed and radically improved. It's a bold statement, but something that is possible as scientists work hard to make the world a better place. I think the gift does have the potential to change the course of modern medicine. Uh, modern medicine has been uh, largely focused on disease, uh, there's a whole set of ways of uh, healthy living to minimize probabilities of getting disease, uh, but this presents the potential of an entire new way of, uh, of creating a healthy individual through the immune system and its connection to the microbiome. But what if you create these scientific advances and the people who need it most never have access? It's critical the research continues and that advances are quickly taken to the market to help people. That's why self-sustainability was something the Duchess Wah family insisted on for the Institute. What really made it spectacular from my perspective uh, is they understood how important it was to me as well as the rest of the family that it be done on a business type of environment. To make this happen, the Polsky Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation at the University of Chicago got involved. As part of that assignment to the team, uh, they brought in the Polsky Center. 
boy did I get excited. They get it, they understand venture capital, they understand that, that there's a sense of urgency that sometimes you don't find in academia. Polsky Center faculty will work with scientists to help commercialize the innovative products and treatments that will be created. This will push the science of wellness to the market and provide funding to keep the creativity, innovation, and science coming for future generations. Again, we're finding a lot more of our faculty who are interested in this bigger and broader impact. They not only want to be able to do great science and say, I discovered this, they want to see it out in the world. And as a university, uh, our goal is to get these ideas out to the world and impact human lives around the world. So this gift is catalytic in allowing us to do that in a very concentrated area of science where the University of Chicago really stands out. The Duchesswa Family Institute and the University of Chicago working together to make life better for everyone through the science of wellness.